Hi, welcome to this Varasi video on our training around the nonprofit success pack. Um, now, while two, no two training projects for us are exactly the same, uh, the topics that we come up with depend on the uh, customization and the uh, configuration of Salesforce that we may be doing for the client's unique needs. We thought we'd still go over a, a representative training curriculum for you. Now, uh, we recently delivered a two-day training to a nonprofit foundation customer that is using the Salesforce Nonprofit Success Pack. Uh, and uh, we'll go over with you the um, curriculum that we prepared for this uh, particular customer uh, and the overview of the topics. Now, first of all, as background, this Salesforce customer has been using the Nonprofit Success Pack fairly um, out of the box for fundraising and donor management activities, and then is managing their programs uh, uh, or uh, doing their program management using the case object. So that's a customization using the case object. Now, their programs involve uh, counseling and preparing war veterans with um, job skills training and uh, job placement activities. So uh, we had three audiences, uh, the fundraising teams, the uh, case management team, and then we had the uh, super users and the admins. Uh, so we uh, divided the whole curriculum into uh, three parts. One uh, focused on uh, use cases for fundraising, and the second focused on use cases for program management, and the third um, admin training uh, going uh, into the uh, back end of managing the Salesforce org. So um, the, uh, the first uh, section the, uh, of, uh, started with an overview going into NPSP, uh, the fact that it is uh, indeed Salesforce built on the Salesforce platform uh, and uh, adapting the ba base um, application and the base uh, objects, uh, but uh, customizing them for managing the nonprofit operations. Now the terminology like um, accounts uh, mapping to households, organizations, and uh, contacts mapping to uh, donors, members, volunteers, and uh, opportunities mapping into donations uh, and grants uh, was uh, what was covered in the terminology. Now, uh, uh, the, we, we cover the fundraising use cases first by going over the data model for fundraising, and then, um, and then the uh, screens and the flows around donors, donations, managing the memberships, grants, and how, uh, and then leads and, uh, and campaigns as well. Uh, we cover program management by going over concepts um, like uh, around case, case management, like the uh, uh, life cycle of cases, self-service, workflows, escalations, etc. And these were, and, and in addition to this, the managing of the volunteers, matching the, uh, their skills and their availability to programs. Uh, and this was all uh, covered under program management. Now under the Salesforce um, admin administration best practices section, there's obviously a whole host of topics that one could cover. Now we prioritize these for each client and now depending on their issues and their needs. And the list here is the most uh, common problem areas we normally cover. And that is um, data governance first, the, uh, the different means and tools available to maintain good uh, quality data uh, in the Salesforce orgs. And second, the uh, security and the access management. Um, how do you manage users? How do you, uh, you know, utilize profiles and permission sets, roles and uh, organization-wide defaults, sharing rules, uh, and uh, these um, aspects to manage the security and access of uh, to the Salesforce uh, data. Uh, the uh, the section on managing orgs is uh, covers topics like managing sandboxes, uh, walking through useful tools like the uh, configuration workbook and schema builder uh, that are pretty handy for an admin. The reports and dashboard section covers concepts like the types of reports and building dashboards and refreshing them. Under the App Exchange tools, uh, this uh, we discuss various categories of tools like uh, document management, um, surveys, email management, and so on. And some, uh, and against each one of these categories, some prominent tools. Now, these uh, tools are not an exhaustive list of tools, obviously, but the ones that we um, have come across most in our project work. So that's uh, the overview of the curriculum for training for uh, one of our nonprofit customers. Hope that gave you a good, uh, gave you some good pointers for developing your own training sessions at your nonprofit organization. Um, thank you and uh, see you in another upcoming Varasi video.